Hey everybody, welcome to this week's transformation reading where I've been taking a card from the first stack of a deck I'm working on with the creator and just seeing what emotion that um, the creator wants us to look into being able to transform from an uncomfortable emotion of fear into one of unconditional love and peace and joy and laughter. So I'm going to just mix these up here and we'll see which one we're going to start with. All right, creator, what do you want us to focus on this week? What would you like us to look into transforming or give us information on transforming? Okay, I'm going to do this one here. <clears throat> and we've got shame. Um, and, you know, this one, of course, is something that we've all been, um, we've all felt in our lives, either um, because it dwelt up within us or because other people, you know, did the shame, shame, shame and, and, um, encouraged us, we'll put it, <laughs> to feel shame. Um, and that, of course, comes down to judgment here. And so it, the feelings and emotions of shame, of course, are rooted in all the roles that were taught growing up, all those conditions for love and acceptance. So, you know, we're um, actually taught, you know, through, of course, <clears throat> our parents and teachers and siblings, but also movies and um, <clears throat> songs and um, seeing other people go through it where we're, we're told what should make us feel shame and what shouldn't. And that, of course, varies by each individual person's life because um, there's some societies and some countries and some, you know, um, individual towns or whatever that the rules are different than one down down the highway and it can be you know <clears throat> all about what well, actually always comes down to uh, about you know worth and um, that fear that we have of being shamed and being judged you know um, being deemed unworthy, rejected outside of our tribe. Um, and then, of course, at the root of all that is ultimate rejection, right? Where no one would want to be around us, where we're totally ostracized. We're going to die in the wilderness alone and hungry, you know, is the ultimate fear when we actually look at it and dig deep. Um, but when we talk about it out loud, it becomes a little less likely that it would get to that extent because if that town didn't like you and shamed you you could find a somewhere i'm sure uh, where people were more accepting of you you know whether it's even going to a different country sometimes so we always have hope you know that we can go somewhere where um people see us as less um breaking their rules than than others and if we don't like the rules of a certain area we go find somewhere where we do right the world is a very wide and vast place that we can go to um or you can you know in a loving way um try to change the rules for where you live um and you know that's how change has happened in a lot of the world is by people lovingly reaching out and sharing how they're feeling not trying to force people to you know um, obey <laughs> or to change right because all that does is push people in the opposite directions and i love what the creator provides here you know in the bottom it's how to convert shame into unconditional love joy peace and um you know peace laughter um all those beautiful feelings uh, that are rooted in unconditional love and that is see through god's eyes and that of course is exactly what i was just talking about is unconditional love you know we come to this point in our life where we decide whether the creator of all things the mother and father of all things loves us conditionally with all these judgments or unconditionally with just no condition at all you know being um, its child being its you know um, being in this relationship as the only child of the creator you know that's the kind of relationship that we can have and you know human parents can unconditionally love their children to an extent, right? Um, how much more so the creator of all things 
can love us without condition. And we come to that point in our life and then we can um, not feel shame out of guilt and, you know, out of fear of being judged and um, because we're, we think we're supposed to feel shame. Instead, we can see if we did have an action that made it easy for someone to feel hurt. You know, um, we we ultimately can't force anyone to feel a certain way. You can give someone the world and they can still be unhappy. You can um, give someone hardly anything and they could be ecstatic. So it really doesn't have a lot to do with what we do. We influence it. We make it easier or harder for people to choose happiness or to be hurt. But that's up to them ultimately. Same with us. We get to choose whether we feel shame, whether we feel hurt, whether we feel happy or not. <clears throat> and so this card comes to us this week just to let us go. Whenever we feel like we're being shamed um, or we are trying to shame others, we can take a step back, look higher from uh, through God's eyes, through the Creator's eyes to the world and see that this person, we don't know what's going on with them. One of the, you know, beautiful um, po social posts that goes around out there is, you know, be compassionate to others. You have no idea what life they're going through right now. And I add on to that what life they've gone through. We don't know what has happened, you know, whether it's, you know, a white supremacist or a murderer or, um, you know, a terrorist, you know, all these things that were like that shame, shame on people's actions. We don't know what type of life they had. We don't know why people believe what they do, why they think the way they do. Um, and we won't find out that if we all we do is attack each other, right? And that's what I love about when you reach out with unconditional love, you get to understand who someone is. You get to understand someone's actions. And sometimes all it takes is love for someone to change because that's what they're fearing, uh, you know, is that they're unlovable, that no one will love them, that they aren't acceptable. And so they're in this fight or flight mode where they're either running or they're defending and fighting for themselves because they feel if they don't, that they are going to end up alone, starving, dying in the wilderness, you know. So I love this message for this week. Um, as you go through every day, just understand that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And I love you too. We'll talk to you soon. You take care.